الله أكبر الله أكبر In the quiet of the morning when the world is still asleep, I find myself slowly awakening. It's 5.30 in the morning, a time when the night's silence meets the day's promise. And it's here in these serene moments that I prepare to connect with something that's just far greater than myself. These moments of tahajjud, the night prayers, are more than just ritual. They're a dialogue of the soul with its creator. Each step, each ablution strips away life's complexities, revealing a soul in its purest form. One morning, I remember I struggled more than usual, and the comfort of my bed was enticing, the night unnervingly silent. Yet in that struggle, I found a profound truth. Our journey towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is filled with such tests, and it's our perseverance that elevates us. As I bow and prostrate, the weight of worldly challenges seems to dissolve, and it's in these moments that I'm reminded of a verse from the Qur'an that often echoes in my heart. And in the hours before dawn, they were found seeking forgiveness from Allah. Life, I've learned, is a continuous effort, an unending journey towards spiritual growth. Some days are filled with zeal, other test my resolve, but each step, each prayer, is a stride closer to spiritual awakening. The Fajr Salah, as the first light of dawn pierces the sky, is not just the start of my day, but a reaffirmation of my faith. The peace that's found in these early hours transcends beyond the walls of my living room, influencing my day, shaping my interactions, echoing in my decisions. I'm not gonna lie, some days are easier, filled with passion and motivation, and other days it's very hard, and it's a battle against lethargy and distraction, but each day is a step and a chance to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm privileged. Privileged to wake up each day and stand before my creator. Privileged to seek his guidance and mercy. And it's in these moments of quiet devotion that I realize how much I need him. How every breath, every heartbeat is a testament to his endless grace. So as you watch this, remember, it's not about perfection. It's about persistence and about finding those moments that connect us to the divine, that guide us through the chaos of life. It's a journey of gratitude, humility, and continuous striving. And so I ask you, what moments in your day bring you closer to your essence, to your creator? Hi guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I hope you guys are all doing well. Basically this week, not too much has happened. Every single day has pretty much been the same. Damn. I'm actually gonna be going outside today. Shocking. Yeah, I'm going outside today. Today. Pretty much today is gonna be another day of what it's like in my life. I asked you guys over on TikTok Live to help me figure out what to bake, and I really, 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 really wanted to bake for this vlog. This week, you guys, I'm bombarded with so much work. So, next vlog. Okay, guys, next vlog. We're gonna bake together. Anyways, let's get to eating breakfast and cleaning this house. So I woke up today craving yogurt, so that's exactly what we're gonna have today. And I'm gonna grab some strawberries. But yeah, for today, I think that I'm not really craving like a smoothie or anything. All right, you guys, let's do a taste test. Mm. I'm telling you guys, oat milk is a game changer. I was never into oat milk um, before I moved here because we had lactose-free milk and I usually drink lactose-free milk, not all the time, but usually. Cause you know, lactose-free girls, we don't take our lactose intolerance seriously and we suffer the consequences later, but now I'm taking it a lot more seriously and since I've moved here I had to switch over to oat milk because they don't really have lactose free milk in the UK. I don't know why, but they never have it at any coffee shop that I go to. It's either soy milk, oat milk, or regular milk. They got me onto oat milk and it has me in a choco. And then a little bit later we're gonna put on some makeup so that I can get dressed and head over to brunch, inshallah. I gotta get out of this house immediately. Immediately. In the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy my matcha, sit in the sun, bask in the sun, read a little bit, just enjoy it. Don't talk too much. Hold on to your tongue. And talk these days is not only talk. It's a lot of talk these days, or without words being said. 
two things. Number one, dua. Don't give up on yourself. Even if you see yourself low, we all go up and down. No one is perfect. No one stay like this. No one, including the Rasul Otherwise, Allah would not have said to him, stay steadfast. So don't give up on yourself, but also don't be too lenient. It's okay. Don't keep saying it's okay to yourself. When you are too tight on yourself, say it's okay. When your nafs is too loose, say come on. Dua, dua, and dua, and don't give up. And make dua for each other. Thinking for today that I would film content doing my makeup while saying it in my language, and I've done it before, but I kind of wanted to do a part two. But low key, I'm like, should I do an Arabi? But my Arabi is so bad. Like, كيف الحال كيف الصحة كل يوم أنا أسوي المكياج معكم في العيونج وكيف أسوي في العيونج كل المكياج هنا بس أنا ما بعرف العربي كويس بس شوية شوية بس ما في مشكلة ماشي يلا لأنه المكياج دي المكياج هنا ما حلو تعرفي على إيش أقولك؟ Anyways, long story short, I can't do this in Arabic because my Arabic is so bad. But I'm gonna do it in my language again, cause y'all don't eat it up. Cause I can speak my language at the very least, even a little bit. لا اللغة العربية مرة صعب يعني أنا ما أنا ما ما بعرف ما بعرف ولا شيء ولا شيء. As I was looking inside my makeup bag, I'm like, I really like don't have a lot of makeup. Like I have a good amount of makeup, alhamdulillah. Like I don't really think I need too much. When I opened and looked at my little makeup bag, I said, what, what, what is in here? <laughs> it is a damn mess in here and you don't even have much. Like I can't find so many things in my makeup bag. Like I usually use this with tweezers, but I'm just going to use my hand today. And you know what they say, girls who can put on their lashes with just their hands can fight. Yeah, I can't fight though. Don't fight me, please. <laughs> I literally just put like one right here. You can't really tell right now, but it's so easy, you guys, and it just does the job. Like, so you guys, it's so easy. You literally just pop it up underneath, and because of the lash bond, it literally will stay on the entire day. Like, look, can you guys see it? I'm not done yet, but how easy was that? I just put the lash bond underneath and then line it up underneath my eyes on each one and then put the lashes on and that's it. It's so easy and it looks so good. It's not done yet, but I just love it because it's just so much more natural and I feel like it's not heavy on the eyes. I'm personally not a fan of like really long lashes on myself. I think it looks incredible on so many other girls, but me personally, it just doesn't work with my eyes. So yeah, we're gonna keep going. It always gets harder when I get to the inner corners because I got fat fingers. Can you guys see? She's really that girl. Uh, yeah, this is usually what I'll do. And it took me like, I wanna say 10 minutes. So once you're done, you then take the seal, which is this part right here. It comes in two sides. So you have the bond and the seal. And you seal it in so that it's done. Sorry, Fati. I know there's a lot of you guys who probably don't speak Tigrinya anyways, but if you want to watch it, you can. Blush Wow, 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 wow. Pencil and powder. The most important thing for me to contour is my forehead because we got to make that look small as hell. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Like, I'm contouring the hell out of my forehead today, but whatever like it's an east african girl problem like nobody can tell me anything about my forehead because i was bullied yes i was you're so, so big your forehead is so big you need two passports i'm like okay whatever my forehead's big and what like the bigger the forehead the prettier the girl like you can't tell me otherwise they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine i'm not crying you are i'm not crying Put on highlighter. I forgot to put on highlighter. Lashes, I feel like keeps falling out, but what do you guys think of my makeup today? I really love oh. <laughs> anyways, you guys. So the next 30 or so minutes, I'm gonna read some more. I just love this era of me reading a lot more, alhamdulillah. Because I don't know if I mentioned to you guys before, but when I used to have a reading page on Instagram, subhanAllah, like I just literally could not get into reading again when I was in school because I was doing my master's and it was just a lot of reading, a lot of work. I couldn't find the desire to read for my own personal enjoyment. 
Alhamdulillah, I'm finally back into the groove of reading again. I've also brought a lot of our books here so we can actually see them. And honestly, it's the best thing I've ever done. I'm done getting ready, you guys. I'm really wearing the most basic outfit that I can think of because we're just going for brunch. Like, it's not anything crazy. The problem is, we still don't have a standing mirror in this apartment like we haven't purchased one because i'm still on the hunt for like a really good one that is like my style and i haven't found anything so i have to get ready by looking at the reflection in the window or if it's that extreme i'm either going to stand on top of the toilet and look at my reflection in the bathroom mirror or i'm going on the elevator and i'm going to see what my outfit looks like and then hop back out it's that serious you guys it's very basic i don't know if i should change and wear something different because yeah it's not really given cute cute we love her. Yeah, yeah, cute. You know, you guys see the vision slowly. This is super cute. It's not doing too much. And I feel like it fits the vibe of brunch, you know? Let me show you guys properly. Anyways, you guys, isn't this outfit so cute? I'm probably just gonna wear my new balances with this. Uh, but low key, tell me my slippers don't look good with this outfit. Is it not a sleigh? Giving what it needs to give? Or should I change into a different coat? I'm just gonna say it's giving what it needs to give. We're not gonna do too much today. I'm just waiting for Salman to come and pick me up and then we're gonna head out inshallah. And I'm really looking forward to brunch, you guys. I literally just had yogurt and matcha. Basic, nothing crazy, but she good, she delicious. Because I was trying to save my appetite for a big brunch because I wanna eat good today. I don't know if I told you guys that I've been doing intermittent fasting and alhamdulillah, it's actually been really, really good. I've done it before, a couple years back for like three months. But uh, I did it so far. You probably can't see it. The weight is coming off, alhamdulillah. So can I hear a round of applause? Period. Well, alhamdulillah, I've been working on healing my gut, you guys. And everybody's been noticing difference. They're like, your skin looks so good. You have so much energy. I'm like, yeah, because I've been focusing on my gut. Your gut health and your brain together, the power it holds is insane. But alhamdulillah, I've been doing that. If you guys want me to like share what I've been doing, I'll definitely share that with you guys, inshallah. I'm about to be looking like that Mariah Carey meme. Ooh, the sun is doing bits right now. While we're waiting, let's cha cha. What are we doing to prep for Ramadan? Because Ramadan's literally two months away and I don't feel prepared at all. I don't know how the time is flying by so fast. I need to get my life together and make sure that these next two months, I'm really, really prepping for Ramadan, spiritually, mentally, physically, all of it. Um, because last Ramadan was actually so hard for me. I found it really difficult to fast. Um, I struggle with fasting, like, really bad. So hopefully this Ramadan, it won't be that bad for me. We'll see, inshallah. I really hope, inshallah, this is the Ramadan that transforms me. Because a lot of you guys were saying, <laughs> a lot of people on TikTok Live were saying, I really hope that you end up in Dubai for Ramadan. When I spent Ramadan in Dubai, it was nice, but it was a little bit different than what I was used to. And I think it's because the lack of community in Dubai. Um, you really have to know people in Dubai to make the Ramadan feel like Ramadan. And I know that sounds funny to say because Dubai is a Muslim country. And I absolutely loved spending Ramadan there but it was very different like the, for example the mosques weren't as full as they are here and they have so many big grand mosques but the mosques were empty unless it was like the 27th night of ramadan that was the only time i saw the mosques really full so it's a little bit different in the middle east because ramadan it feels more like a holiday if that makes sense i think i just found that in north america and the uk muslim community here is a lot more connected like there's a sense of community here but maybe i just missed out on that when i was in dubai and if i ever go back again inshallah like it might be a different experience but that is something that i really like about north america and like the uk is that there is a sense of community and you get to see people of all backgrounds during ramadan and also just like how spiritually grounded they are here i just felt like it was more like a holiday like i said but that's besides the point if I'm still able to go to Dubai, you already know I'm gonna be packing my bags. I'm not talking too much now. I would not say no to that because I would much rather be in a Muslim country in the heat than here. Period. I'm not sitting nowhere where it's cold. <laughs> Anyways, our, I hope you guys are all looking forward to Ramadan as well. Let me know if you guys have any plans or how, what you guys are doing to really prep for Ramadan. Are you guys gonna be traveling? Are you gonna be staying home? Are you the one who cooks a lot and cleans a lot? Like, what does your Ramadan normally look like? I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section below, inshallah. Also, you guys, I really, really want to travel, inshallah. But I don't really know where to go. So if you guys have suggestions on where you guys think I should go, let me know. Preferably Europe. I sent over a question on the Instagram broadcast channel. I love those girls. And they sent over so many suggestions and I've been sifting through it. 
yet, but I need like a solid suggestion of where I could possibly go within like the next few weeks, inshallah, because I need to get out of this damn country, period. Like, I can't do the cold no more. I just got a text. All right, time's downstairs. Let's go get some brunch and eat good, because y'all, I am so hungry, and I'm so excited to eat, you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, so this is the outfit what it looks like i feel like it looks so much better outside than it did in my house for some reason like maybe it was the lighting i don't know but this is the fit super cute i'm gonna attempt to take a photo in it because i actually love this outfit it's cold currently heading over to a brunch spot called bloom i've seen it all over tiktok so i'm actually really excited i think it's gonna be good inshallah so yeah are you excited to eat inshallah i'm very very i always ask to ask this here <laughs> i can't talk today I can't. <laughs> I always have to ask if you're excited, just as excited as me. Anyways, we will see you guys, inshallah, when we're at the restaurant. This looks so good, you guys. It's my first time having a burger in so long. I forgot to mention, you guys, we were supposed to eat brunch today, but the brunch hours are done, so that's why we ended up getting dinner which is a burger thing, and I'm not even mad you guys because I am hungry. Okay, so man, rate it one to 10. Oh, Sam. 8.9. Wow, I am stuffed. I think I definitely overdid it with the double burger. Like I got a beef and chicken, but I was so hungry y'all. When I tell you that filled me up, we're gonna go grocery shopping because we need to grab a few things and then we're gonna get some karak inshallah and then head home. Um, I would rate the sandwich like an eight out of 10. I like my sandwich is like really saucy. I feel like I really tasted the beef. You know, if the meat fell off the, the bread, I feel like it would have been a 10 out of 10, but it was still good. And the service was really great. And the spot is really cute, so, you know. <laughs> Should we get Sriracha? <laughs> Break my camera. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Grocery shopping is kind of going well. <laughs> There's a few things that are missing, but it's fine. I just, I probably just might not be able to bake today, but it's fine. So we went and got everything we needed, but there's one key ingredient that's missing, which is mozzarella. So we're probably gonna have to go somewhere else to get mozzarella, but if not, it just means that lasagna is not happening tonight. We are back home, alhamdulillah. So, guys, let's get out of these clothes, de-stress, take a really nice shower. I also have a lot of things I need to get out of the Oh my god! I thought that was a gin! My husband's bag. That was very scary. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, let's de-stress and get out of these clothes. And then after that, I want to see if I'm going to have some time later on, inshallah, to make some lasagna. But if not, it's not that deep. Hey guys, I feel so nice and fresh and clean. That was literally the best bath ever. I love taking baths because it helps with my pain and it helps to like ease my muscles and relax me. Y'all know I love my self-care baths, but that was such, such, such a nice bath. Alhamdulillah, I really needed that. Um, also, you guys, I started a new Korean series. I finished Crash Landing on You and I'm watching Hometown Cha 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 now and I really like it so far. I mean, I'm only in episode one, but yeah, it's good so far. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here I know it's a little bit shorter than normal But and I hope that inshallah you guys also found a lot of the messages throughout this video beneficial inshallah So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, of course, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video I love you guys so much Bye